Hello, here is Josh from Redrex again and in the previous videos I showed you how to use the orange for low tensions so up to 2-3 kN in this video I want to show you how to use it for higher tensions so above 3 kN the first thing I want to show you is how to create more tension in a simple way with the orange and therefore I would use, show you the 5 to 1 complex Buckingham All you need for this is a line grip, a carabiner, a rolling carabiner, a sling, a Danima sling in the best case. So the first thing is I attach the line grip on the line. Then I use the outside pin with the Danima loop and I basically just clip in this Danima sling to this outside pin. Take care that this webbing is coming out on the top and not on the bottom, otherwise you have like some weird forces going on and some friction. Then I go through this carabiner, the sling, clipping in my rolling carabiner and pull, pushing out this line grip that they are just to the maximum. And Actually, it's getting a bit more beautiful if I go the other way around. I create like a little bit less twists. And I can clip in the webbing here. Like this, I have a 5 to 1. And I can easy tension. Just need to push out the line grip again. Tension. The nice thing about the system, I don't need to reset anything besides the line grip. And alone, I should be able to tension up to 3 kN, with the second person up to 5 kN. Okay, so we just finished tensioning, so we are now about 4.5 kN. And so I just take everything down here. And the next thing, what I want to show you is then how to get to the anti slip mode if you have that much tension, because it's now getting relatively hard to pull the tail back. So I would need to position myself quite well, and then I would just be able to get the cord loose, but I don't have any chance to use my second hand. So if you have a second person helping you, that's fine. And now I show you how to do it alone. So I can just use my Danima sling again, creating myself a second anchor, and now I need two carabiners, which can be rolling carabiners as well as normal ones. I clip in one redirection here. I take the tail and doing here a girth hitch. So going around that I end up with a girth hitch here. Just dressing it nicely that the incoming webbing is on the top and the outgoing webbing is on the bottom. Because now if I'm pulling in the tail and the cabin at the same time, it's sitting nicely. I use the redirect, clip it in here, and now I have like a 3 to 1. So I can pull on this one here, and as you can see, the orange is now rotating so that the cord is loose. So what I can do now is I just hold it with one hand or even a better method is I just redirect it one, one more time to this carabiner so I can come all the way here and unlock the cord easy here. Do it and then feed it out slowly and again take care in this position when you tension that you not rotate too far. So in this case, watch again like this holes here of this nub. This should never go above 90 degrees. So between this webbing here down to here 90 degrees. If it's going above, you can start releasing, which you definitely don't want. So just pull enough that the cord is slightly getting loose. That's enough. And now slowly release. Take your time. Because in the very end there's the it's getting a bit faster. And like this we are in anti-slip mode. Ok, 
Okay, and when you're using this method to make the orange rotate, make sure if you make this girthage here on the carabiner to leave enough space between this point and the orange itself because while you let it in, it needs a bit of space. Just make sure that you're not directly in front of the orange. So now just to uh, tie it off as I showed in the previous video. I'm looking the cord and and that's done. Don't forget to back up the tail in case anything is failing that you're still safe on the line. Okay, next I show you how to release from higher tensions. Okay, so in order to release, as shown in the previous videos, removing the pin and opening up here this cord. In the normal ways, you want to pull on the tail to make the orange rotate. Now, as you can see here, it's getting pretty hard to even start the rotation. So I need to create some more force and the only way we recommend is pulling on the tail actually and not using any other tools to make the orange rotate otherwise it can explosively release and burn and damage your webbing. That's why in this method I show you how to use a, a chain link, the carabiner and a sling with another carabiner on the other side. The two carabiners can be also rolling carabiners. It doesn't matter too much. The first step is I take the uh, loop, the tail, through the chain link. So I want to be from the bottom to the top and to the bottom again. That this would sit nicely in the, going to this direction. Then I clip in my carabiner and create myself a small 3 to 1 pulley system. So let's go this way. And now I can pull here and make the orange rotate. As you can see, and I rotate that far that, always watch this nap here, so I go that far that this is just below the webbing here. So now I just have it far enough that I can get the outside pin in. It is really important that you get the outside pin in before you continue rotating because as soon as this hole for the outside pin is going at the bottom and going a bit further you start releasing and then it's like really hard to stop the releasing again if you don't have this pin in and actually your chain link would get sucked into the orange. So absolutely make sure to get this pin in and then you can also like relax for a moment because this pin also stops the rotation backwards. Okay, so when we have now the safe spot here with the pin, I can uh, readjust the, the chain link a bit to so make sure that you have like a bit of space here to the orange and that you have also like enough space between this carabiner and this carabiner. So I just set it up, maybe I'll take a little bit more distance here, like this, okay. <clears throat> now I can pull back and now you see it's now at 90 degrees, so it's now getting way harder to pull and I need to get over this point to start the releasing. If I'm pulling now a bit further, so now you can see the outside pin is touching the webbing. And in this position, I just need to lock, the, lock this tail. I can create manual redirect to just create a bit more friction here. So now I should be able to hold it in one hand. And what I can do now, I can get this cord, taking it over the sling and putting it in here, which makes, which stops the orange from rotating backwards. And now I can simply start releasing. You see the strain link is getting closer and closer to the orange. And at one point it will start touching here. And from there on it's not getting any further and it's great friction but the webbing is just going through it and like this I can release quite a lot in a really controlled way so I have really less load in here additionally to this 3 to 1 we have also friction so I can keep on feeding in till I reach low loads I can clip it out here 
in case you have like a thick webbing and it's not really releasing, you still have high tensions on it. You can also use this as a handle and just work it around a bit. Like this, you can speed up the release. And yeah, then you can pull back to just get like the fully release at low load loads. Thanks for watching. In case you have any problems or questions, feel free to contact us directly and don't forget to check out all our YouTube videos.